Mark, this guy has a lot of Daytona experience, right? Four times you've run in the Rolex, but none on the big track. How uh, excited are you about tomorrow night's event? Well, I'm really excited, you know, to be driving a Raj Fenway truck and uh, not to mention the six truck here is going to be something I'm looking forward to. And, you know, we got Conway on the side of this truck for the whole year, so we're excited to have them as a sponsor. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of experience in the 24-hour, like you said. This will be my sixth stock car race ever, so looking forward to uh, getting a lot more experience out there come Friday night and you know, getting to drive with these guys like Skinner and Hornaday and uh, just learn from those guys. It's been a great thing so far. The test was kind of short, but uh, you get back here now. What have you learned these last couple of days on the racetrack that will help you have a good finish tomorrow night? Well, we came back, you know, that accident kind of gave us a chance to look through our truck, make a few modifications. The guys worked their butts off back in the shop and uh, came back out here and working on drafting the whole time. We've made no single car runs. We just want to focus on getting a good chance to get a lot of experience drafting. I need every lap I can get out there drafting away. And uh, I think we're going to have a, a good truck for the race and uh, certainly a good truck for qualifying. You know, Jack Roush's guys built some great engines, so uh, looking forward to qualifying tonight. All right, go get him. That's Colin Brown, and you guys had mentioned before the rookie and the veteran. Well, he's the rookie. The veteran is Mike Beam. He'll lead the way for Colin Brown. Colin Brown right there, another one of the open wheel or the road race guys. But Andy Lally really listens. He knows he has a lot to learn, and he's, he's really doing it the right way, I think. You mentioned Andy Lally's name. He still has the fastest time. It was run on lap four of this practice. We're closing in on the final minutes of that. We'll continue with practice when we come back to Daytona. One of the young kids we've been talking about a lot in practice, Colin Brown, obviously a contender for Rookie of the Year. He's with Ray Dudlap. Four times you've been here in the Rolex Series cars, but uh, first chance to take your Craftsman truck out for qualifying. How you feeling? Oh, I'm excited. You know, I think these guys done a great job on the truck. Uh, the old Conway Freight Ford F-150 is going to be strong here in qualifying, I think, and uh, I feel even more confident about it in race trim, which is obviously what pays uh, what pays to win. So looking forward to going out there and getting a uh, race under my belt here tomorrow night. What would you learn in drafting practice the last couple of days? Well, I've been working a lot with guys like Skinner and my teammates, Joey Clanton and Eric Darnell, and uh, just working on running well with those guys, figuring out what those that air does to you, you know, uh, what it does to the tri-oval and everywhere, really. Um, so we've just been focusing on working on getting me comfortable in the draft. Biggest thing I've probably learned is just how much these trucks move around. And you just got to kind of let them move around and do their thing. And you just kind of guide it. Keep going straight, turning. Uh, but you can't get too picky about where you exactly go. <laughs> All right. Well, keep it straight. Be sure, okay? That is Colin Brown. First lap for Colin Brown, seventh quickest. Let's see how he does on lap number two. He's got to pick up a half a second if he wants to contest for the pole. Crossing the start finish line and not enough for the pole, but enough to move up to the sixth position in the number six truck. And again, it is pronounced Brown. Looks like Braun, but Colin Brown, the 19 year old youngest driver in the field for tomorrow's race. Just moved ahead of his teammate, Joey Clanton. I talked to Mike Beam, crew chief on this Conway Ford. Uh, right before qualifying and he said we put a little bit of downforce in this truck this is his first time here in a stock vehicle not a road race car so we wanted to make sure he had a, a comfortable truck to race with and so we did, said i don't think we're a threat for the pole but uh, we should be really good in the race 